Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm sharing two super fast and delicious dinners with you guys, as well as a breakfast and lunch. It's sort of a 24 hour what we eat in a day. Of course, it always varies, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you do, don't forget to hit that like button and let's get to it. So for our first dinner, we're making some beef and broccoli. And usually when I make cream cheese wontons, I just use onion powder and sugar. This time we went with what we put in our cream cheese puffs. So I'm adding some honey and some hot Thai curry. I just heated up my cream cheese in the microwave for a minute because I forgot to let it sit on the counter. And I'm just gonna add in my honey, hot Thai curry, and onion powder. I didn't really measure any of this. I just kind of tasted as I went. But this turns out so good and they're not really spicy, but you can taste the curry. Once I got that all mixed up, I just put little dollops onto my wonton wrappers, maybe like a heaping teaspoon. And then I just put some water around the edges, and then I fold up two ends to meet each other, and then fold up the other two ends to make those cute little wontons. We got those frying at 350 degrees while our rice was cooking, and then we're gonna get started on our beef and broccoli. So unfortunately, Adam put this together while I wasn't around, so I don't have an actual recipe for you, measurement-wise, but I do have the ingredients. We had a beef roast that he cut into strips, and to that he added some soy sauce and teriyaki sauce, some red pepper flakes, some ground ginger, some honey and some garlic and onion powder and this turned out so delicious so i have to get him to make it again so i can make an actual recipe for you guys because this was the perfect beef and broccoli we just cooked our beef in our skillet until it was just about done and then we took it out and we're adding in our leftover marinade and to that we also added one cup of chicken broth. Of course, if you had beef broth, you could use that, but we were all out and this turned out delicious with the chicken broth, so. We're just gonna put that in the skillet and let it come up to a boil and simmer for a few minutes. That way it's safe to eat. And then we'll add in some broccoli that we steamed in the microwave and add our beef back in. And we had a super easy and delicious beef and broccoli. So we just served this over some jasmine rice with some wontons on the side, and this was so, so good. This morning it was super cold outside, but the boys still wanted cereal, 
So to go along with that, I made them some toast with butter and some hot chocolate with marshmallows. I just started off with some coffee while we got our morning schoolwork done. We had a really good school day today. Some days are more difficult than others. Some days nobody wants to do any work. But today, everybody was in a super good mood and got a lot of work done. Tucker even did like three pages extra of math, so that was cool. And once we're done with our morning homeschool, the boys will go outside and play while I make lunch. <laughs> Mom thought this was a water hose. Like a fireman hose. And we You have chocolate and we stuff thought, on your face. And we thought it was a noise maker. And then what is it, Tuck? <laughs> What? What did you say? It's that thing you what with? What? How did you explain it before you knew the word for it? The thing you... What did you say? I forgot. That thing you whack stuff with? Is that what she said? We had some leftover sliders in the fridge, so I decided to make this concoction of things. I chopped up one of the burger patties and got it over some of the fries that I chopped up. And I threw those in the microwave for a minute just to get them heated through a little, then topped them off with some cheddar cheese and put them back in the microwave to melt the cheese. Then I'm gonna top them off with some ranch dressing, some buffalo sauce, and some green onions. So this might not be the healthiest lunch in the world, but I skipped breakfast and I was starving and it was so good. The boys just had some leftover sliders with some Cheez-Its, some tomatoes and cucumbers, and some applesauce. While the boys finished up their afternoon work, I got started on our meal plan and grocery list for the week so I can go grocery shopping tomorrow. So keep an eye out for that. I'll have a haul coming up soon. Dinner was one of the fastest and easiest dinners you can make. To go along with it, I'm making some garlic cheddar biscuits. And these are just the Bisquick version, so I'll have that recipe linked down below. I just have some Bisquick in my bowl and I'm gonna add in some milk and cheddar cheese and get these in the oven. Once this was all mixed up, I'm going to get these on my baking sheet lined with parchment paper and get them in the oven on 450 degrees for 8 to 10 minutes. Yeah. 
To go on top of the biscuits when they're done, I'm just putting some butter in a bowl along with some garlic powder and parsley, and we'll just melt that in the microwave and brush it on the biscuits when they come out of the oven. This dinner is super simple and it might sound weird if you've never tried it. This is something Adam's mom used to make. We're just browning up a pound of ground pork sausage and we're gonna add in one big can of hominy. So we browned up the sausage and then drained the hominy and we're gonna add that in. And you can season this however you want. I think this time Adam just did some salt and pepper and Tony's, maybe some parsley. But if you have like a favorite complete seasoning or something, you could totally do that. But yeah, you just get this all cooked up and simmering together for just a few minutes and dinner's done. We used to eat it with butter bread or tortillas even with butter on them like a little taco. This time we're just having it with our garlic cheddar biscuits and a big salad on the side. This is so simple and definitely one of our favorites. It reminds me of Sunday afternoons going to Adam's parents for lunch. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit that like button and we'll see you guys in the next one.